welcome to Ewan's Wacky World. Today, we're going to be investigating seagulls. We are here at uh, the home of the seagull by the sea. Um, we're going to be today we're going to be investigating why they are such vicious animals. Um, we are going to interview uh, someone who has been attacked and someone who is currently investigating the amount of attacks. Thank you. Here we are at Seaside Place, the home of the seagull. Uh, this is where they originated. We've come here in the hopes to find out more about seagulls and uh, find out how they all begun. Uh, hopefully, if we're lucky, we'll maybe get to interview a seagull. Let's go. As you can see, we are on the beach and there's no seagulls. As all the seagulls are inland hunting for humans. As they have no interest in fish anymore, they only want to hunt for humans because it's one of their main sources of food now. So let's go find some, try find some seagulls inland. Um, this is what seagulls used to eat, um, crabs and other sea creatures, and now this is what they are eating, Fife Bakery delicacies. In 1993 there was an estimated three seagull attacks every three months. Now in 2019, every three months there is a rough estimate of 329,000. These are frightening t statistics as they have drastically increased over the years. People are becoming more and more scared to leave their homes. It's quite hard for me to retell the story. It's really close to my heart. Um, I was walking out my flat and a seagull landed on my head and stole my toast. Um, I was traumatized. I could feel the claws going into my head. Uh, I ran away, but now I'm too scared to leave the house. Um, I'm scared for my family. Yeah. <laughs> Seagulls used to nest in areas like these. Very homely, very nice. But they've now moved inland and have started attacking the homeless and stealing areas which they used to live in. This is starting to make the homeless more scared and everyone feel frightened that their home may be invaded by seagulls. Um, today we are with uh, Dr. Bert Piles, um, a seagull expert. So, um, after all your research, how do you uh, feel, do you believe in the statistics regarding the massive incline in seagull attacks? Yeah, absolutely not. Period? I don't, I don't, I don't. It's, uh, it's a witch hunt against sea, uh, the seagull, yes. Uh, I've been researching seagulls for now uh, what, 30, 40 years, 40 years, say, say, 40 years. And, you know, these, these reports are unfounded. Uh, the seagull is a very loving creature, as I have discovered myself with my work, and everything the seagull is giving me, if you know what I mean. So, yes, the sea, it's, it's unfounded. It's unfounded. So, um, are you saying that these reports are forged? Yes, it's fake news, it's fake news. Uh, there's a campaign of hate against the seagulls. Um, yes, they're trying to uh, 
They're trying to put them into seagull concentration camps. Hmm. Yes, I heard of this. How? What, what do you make of that? How? How do you believe we should respond to that? Well, we need we need to take this to the EU and put forward a bill for uh, seagull rights. Seagull rights. Mm -hmm. So. You're claiming that over 526 professors from um, Aberdeen U Siegel University are wrong in regards to their outstanding research, in regards to them researching... Listen, young man, I don't know who you think you are, right? But I have been researching seagulls for, for, for 40 years now, and these pseudo... Seagull scientists don't know what they're talking about. I know the truth. These are hate campaigns paid for by the government to take away our seagulls. Okay. It's not on. Um, sir, you, you seem to have got confused with your age of the amount of years you've worked with seagulls. How many years have you worked with them? Oh, 30, 40, 40, 40 years, 40 years. Years. Um, so when did you start researching the seagulls? Oh, um, it's a funny story actually. I was I was at the park with my dear old mummy. Uh, it was a great day. We had sandwiches cut into little triangles. I had the crusts cut off. And, uh, you know, mummy had her usual perfume on. It smelled lovely. It smelled lovely. I liked it. Uh, mummy. And yes, there, there she was. I called it Tina. I fell over and tripped, cut my knee, I was crying, my mum was nowhere to be seen, but a helpful seagull came along and picked me up and made me feel better. And from that day, I wanted to show the world that the seagull is more intelligent than the dolphin and must be respected. And um, what did this so-called seagull look like? Are we sure it was a seagull and not any other type of bird? Absolutely. Are you are you questioning my perception and intellect? Actually, yes, I'm um, questioning your sanity, sir. Right, I'm not saying any more on this. I'm off. I'm off. Shut off the camera. Here we have a number of ducks. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but ducks are actually pigeons' closest ancestor and we're now going to go for a swim with them. Um, we're currently in land and as you can see we find a lot of seagulls um, they're nesting here uh, and also looking for things to hunt humans and they're trying to do a seagull protest they're protesting for the right to eat humans we're not going to let that happen so we're going to run through and destroy their protest okay Okay, thank you for watching um, Ewan's Wacky World. Um, we've learned a lot about seagulls. Uh, some people love them, some people hate them. Um, Dr. Burt Piles, he loved them. Our uh, mysterious interviewee, victim, hated them. We also learned that the numbers of seagull attacks had skyrocketed over the last couple of years. Hopefully they decrease. Um, and hopefully you'll join us next time on the next Wacky World Adventure.